I am Anil Kumar and here is a test paper on polynomial functions. We will begin with very simple knowledge based questions and then move on to application, communication and thinking questions. Now here the question is, consider the polynomial f of x equals to x minus 2 times x plus 1 whole square. Determine the following about the polynomial f of x. So the first one is what is f of 1? Find x intercept, y intercept interval when f of x is greater than equal to 0 and the decreasing interval. I'd like you to pause the video, answer your questions and then check with my answers, right? Now f of 1 as you know is the value of this polynomial at x equals to 1. So we can always find it by replacing x with 1, okay? So 1 minus 2 times 1 plus 1 whole square that gives us minus 1 times 2 square and that is minus 4. So f of 1 is minus 4. x intercepts. To find the x intercepts we have to find the zeros, right? When is the function 0? So f of x should be 0. So x intercept really means that f of x equals to 0. When you multiply factors then these could be zeros and that gives us the zeros. So the first zero is that x minus 2 equals to 0. That results into x equals to 2 and the second one will be at x plus 1 equals to 0. That results into x equals to minus 1. So we have two zeros here. So let me write down very clearly the zeros are at x equals to 2 and at minus 1, right? We'll also, we have also learned that this is a linear 0 and here the multiplicity is or the order is 2. Now let's look into y-intercept. y-intercept is the value of function when x is 0. So basically we have to replace x with 0 and find the value of y-intercept. So we get 0 minus 2 times 0 plus 1 whole square. That gives us minus 2 as our answer, right? 1 square is 1. Now the question is on intervals. Now to find the increasing and decreasing interval, we have to sketch the graph, right? So I'm re not really asking you a question to find end behavior, leading coefficient, all those things, because there are many questions to follow on those topics. But these are small things which sometimes we forget. Now x plus 1 whole square means at minus 1 we have a 0 and the order is 2. x minus 2 means at 2 we have a 0. x and x both have positive. So leading coefficient is positive. That means right side is up, right? So the right side is up. And since the degree is 2 plus 1, 3, opposite ends. So that is how the graph is going to be. Now this 0 we know is at minus 1 and it has it is order 2. So here the graph will turn, right? This is at minus 1. This is a linear 0. Here the graph will go across. And connecting these points, we get our polynomial, correct? So that is the graph for the polynomial and that is how we have been sketching it, right? So that is how we have a polynomial. Now we can actually label right down. This is at minus 1 and this position is at 2. Well, I haven't really shown you the y-axis, but let me now just sketch it once here. Let's say approximately here. And since we know what y-intercept is, which is minus 4, it is a good idea to write that also here, right? Now, well, that's not a part of question, but we are trying to figure out what is the interval when f of x is greater than equal to 0. So clearly it is after 2, and you have to include 2, right? So the interval is including 2, right, to infinity. So that is how you have to write down your answer. And then the last question is decreasing interval. We have to see the graph from left to right, and we can see that it is decreasing till this point. It's kind of very difficult to find the position where we have a minimum at this stage, right? So I have kept this question, but not it's not a very good question for this uh, at the moment, since uh, we actually wanted to 
quickly go through these answers. We don't know what the minimum point is, right? And where the minimum point is, correct? So it is only decreasing after minus one and somewhere up to one you can say, correct? So so we can say the decreasing interval is from definitely from minus one to to maybe maybe uh, 0 0.5, right? So so what I'm doing is I'm approximating this value, right? Uh, I should say, I should have given you the information about this minimum also, then it would have helped us to get the right answer, correct? And we are not doing rate of change at present at this question to figure out where exactly we have a local minimum in this class, right? So pardon me for this, but it gives you an idea that when you look at a function, then it's decreasing during this time, right? In rest of the intervals, it is always increasing, right? Now, let's look into the other set of questions based on polynomial functions, knowledge-based questions, so that we get some basics clear, okay? Thank you.